What is going on, everybody? Hope you all have an amazing day. And today we are going to be talking about Matt Target, our left back for Aston Villa, of course, who has been on fine form this season. He's really added to his game, and I'm going to be explaining why I think he should be involved in Gareth Southgate's international squad, the role he'd play in the setup, of course, and all my reasoning behind that as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. On 207 subscribers now, I'm trying to get to 250 as soon as possible. You guys are amazing though, thanks for he helping me hit 200 subscribers. Make sure you go check out the video from yesterday, of course, as well. And like this video if you end up enjoying it. Let's get into it. It's no real secret that Ben Chilwell is Gareth Southgate's number one left back, of course, and rightly so, he's a phenomenal player. But the reason I say Matt Target should be involved in this setup is because he could offer backup and cover for Ben Chilwell, of course. The only registered backup they have, and... Got a bone to pick with this one, is Bakayo Saka. Bakayo Saka is not a defender. If you go on the FA website, they have Bakayo Saka, uh, Saka I, have it, I have it up here, listed as a defender, which means they see him as cover for Ben Chilwell. He's an attacking player. I get he's played there before, but he hasn't played there since last season. When he shined this season, it has been an attacking role with, alongside Emil Smith-Rowe supplying Lacazette up top as well. It's been brilliant from him in the forward sense, not in the defensive sense. He is a he is a very versatile player. He can play at left back, but to get some real cover, I think Matt Target would be the perfect player. First off, to provide cover for Ben Chilwell, there's no real competition for backup left back in the England squad. You've got the likes of Ryan Bertrand, Danny Rose, please, Aaron Cresswell, decent player on his day, Kieran Gibbs. Um, and there, Luke Shaw is a good player on his day, but he's very injury prone. And I honestly think Matt Target's better than him, especially the form he is in this season. And I think he he fits Gareth Southgate's system perfectly. They like to play their left backs as a left wing back who likes to get forward. Matt Target is a very good player going forward, especially if they Grealish, if they play Grealish on that left side. He links up very well with Jack. And of course, this season has shown that he has worked very hard on his defensive ability, ability and doesn't get caught out anymore. It's the perfect fit. He is an attacking-minded fullback that can get you assists and whip in good crosses and link up play with that winger. But he is also sound defensively and doesn't get caught out too much like he did last season, especially at the beginning when he had just come in from Southampton. And for me, if Gareth Southgate does want to bring in a backup to Ben Chilwell, well, the only thing, the only player I think can come close to Matt Target is actually Ryan Bertrand, who I rate as a player very much. He brings experience. He's always got eight England caps under his name. He's been to a Euros in a very young and energetic England squad. He could provide some experience in the dressing room, of course. But I would go with Matt Target because Gareth Southgate likes his young players. Matt Target's not the definition of young. He's 25 now, but he's not old. And, of course, he's been very good this season. And he's taken players like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Jude Belling, who have impressed with clubs this season but haven't been doing it for very long. So I don't see a reason why Matt Target can't get into this England team. And I actually think this would be a great experience for Matt Target if he does end up making the England squad one day, especially if he goes to the Euros next year, hopefully next year, they still could get called off, please. But um, of course, he would learn a lot under Gareth Southgate, a player that likes to go forward, he would be, be given the freedom to roam. He's a little bit more tight-bound at Aston Villa, especially this season, that even though he is allowed to go forward a lot, a lot more than he was last season, he still went forward anyway, and that's why we got caught out on the back a lot, a lot of times on his wing, of course. But he would be allowed to go forward because they play a 3-5-2. He would be expected to go forward. And if he didn't go forward, he wouldn't be in, on the pitch. And he'd be expected to go forward and link up play with the likes of Jack Grealish, maybe even Jaden Sancho, Bakayo Saka, all these players that he could play alongside. And I think he'd learn a lot under this England team and the great players like Harry Kane, Jaden Sancho, all these lads that he could learn a lot from. But that's basically going to do it for today's video. Just a little short one. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see me, if you want to see me make more videos like this, why I think certain certain things should happen, explanations behind it, and all my reasoning behind these stuff, make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily video. We New Year's Eve. I'll pre-record it, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Remember, up the villa.